Okay, so our topic is mainly about the environment conditions in sun, shadows, rain, and air. Um, outline of our video, uh, we're going to first introduce the site and then some sun studies, um, airflow, and also precipitation. And lastly, we'll have some takeaways. Let's begin. Uh, where is Woodstock? It's in South Bronx. More exactly, it's um, 761 East to 163 in Bronx. And it's located right across from the school. Um, the first sun pass uh, analysis we did was for summer, and we set the day as July 20th. Yeah, this is a short clip, 16 again clip showing the traveling of the sun during summer. As you can see, the shadows are much shorter during the daytime. And the video is longer because sun rises sets longer. And the winter sun pass analysis, um, as you can see here, the shadows are much longer, casting longer shadows creating more dark spaces. Um, we'll be able to see that in the next slide as a screenshot of the shadow overlays. As you can see here, you can see there's a lot of dark spots, dark spots. And next we'll move on to the interior and shadows. In the interior sun and shadow part, the building receives natural light from windows on the floors and north lights. Compared to the other floors, the windows on the first floor are larger, which allows more sunlight to be received from floor with less uh, daylight hours. This is also a uh, entrance at the entrance of the first floor. The glass structure of the uh, entrance and not only uh, not not only uh, reduce the uh, entire light, but also increases the reflection of light. The windows on the second floor uh, on the second floor are reduced compared to the first floor. In the third floor, uh, in addition to the natural light uh, provided by windows, there are two light wells to provide natural light for it. Among them, the light wall located in the east of the middle of the building provides light for a classroom and two offices. Um, now we'll talk about the effects on the neighborhood with the sun lighting. Some points I think we should remember when designing our uh, designing our site is that the east side is actually now a parking lot. So during the summer, make sure to have facades that doesn't really reflect bounce off light onto these cars since cars will melt under high, high temperature. Um, the east side has low residential buildings um, and therefore we kind of need high permeability or like another way for the light to travel through to the east side of the, of the, of the building. And also we need to consider an appropriate facade since a school is right across. Um, as the sun bounces off from the south facade, uh, make sure the um, facade doesn't shine in the class shine into the classrooms. And we'll talk about airflow. In the airflow part, uh, the ducts uh, directly provide air to the AC set on the ceiling on the second floor. However, the AC of Earth uh, floor is driven by the uh, external machine installed in the light bulb. The second, uh, in the section, we can see that the second and third floors are the same air circulation using the same uh, volatilization ducts. Uh, we'll talk about some basic precipitation. So in Bronx, the yearly precipitation is around 48 inches, and it usually has the most precipitation during February. Uh, this is a uh, flood analysis uh, showing how the water travels. So the wind tends to blow from the west of northwest uh, with strong wind, and then from east is usually a much weaker wind. So when designing, um, I think there's a need for more consideration of the northwest winds that are coming through. And also we need to consider wind channels that might be flowing through the streets. Think about the facade and also think about the structure. Uh, water management is also a big part in the uh, original building. 
As you can see from here on the top left corner, they have、uh, brick walls and some moisture might be caught inside. Therefore, the leaves and the small tubes will channel the water out into the exterior of these brick walls. And as you can see, if we if the wall is covering the north side,、um, snow and water tends to like. Um, not melt during winter. Ice has not melt during winter. So these two are the gutters. Okay. So these two are the drainage、uh, to the interior of the、uh, building, and these two are the gutters to the exterior of the building. As you can see here, this gutter outside、uh, is connected to this facade here. Okay. Lastly, we'll talk about some takeaways.、Um, I think designing this、uh, structure, there needs to be careful consideration of the surroundings, especially relating to the idea of sunlight, because architecture in this specific case are not just pure forms, but also spaces that hold people with emotion. Thank you.